frozen fruit roll-ups. Let's mix two trends together. First, stack a couple of fruit roll-ups and freeze them. These freeze so quick, they were only in my freezer for 20 minutes. I'm gonna crush them into little crumbs. They freeze really quick, but they also defrost really quick. Now I'm gonna add some clear syrup. I wanted them to act like sprinkles, but they kind of clump up a little bit. Hopefully it works. I'm gonna add a little bit of grape flavor. Now we'll store it in a little bottle. I'm going to throw it in the freezer for five hours. Time for a taste test. They're still pretty crunchy. I think they're better on their own though. Wow, this one melted way too fast. I'm gonna try and make a bottle jelly only using cotton candy. Just kidding, I forgot I'm gonna use water. Cotton candy is all sugar, so I think this should work. I ended up using a lot of cotton candy, but it does look syrupy now. Might just be my lighting, but it looks like a purple blue. You know what? Let's go for that purple color. Time to place it inside the bottle. Okay, let's freeze it. Six hours later. It's good. I don't like cotton candy though. Let's make a spicy frozen bottle without any syrup. I'm gonna use some Lucas, Sour Drops, Jolly Rancher Powder, Tajin, Sour Slime, and the main ingredient, some Pelon Tamarindo. I left it in the refrigerator for a whole day instead of the freezer. Since it wasn't syrup, I don't think it really had to freeze. So I was right, not that cold, pretty good though, and not that sweet. This froze in like less than a minute. Let's see how long it takes Allen 2 to freeze honey. Let's see how long it takes honey to turn into jelly. I'm gonna be using a new bottle of honey. Now I'm gonna fill this up with NL2. Let's see how long it takes. This stuff evaporated so fast, it's been like three minutes. I've never seen this before. I think it actually froze solid. It looks all cracked. It usually turns into a toothpaste consistency. Let's see if we can even squeeze it out. So, I had to let it sit for like 20 minutes just so it could turn into this jelly-like consistency. Okay, so I've seen people freeze Takis in a bottle, but is it actually good? First, I'm gonna crush the Takis into a Taki powder. Let's grind them up. I didn't grind it up too much because maybe it could still be crunchy after frozen, but I doubt it. Now we place them inside the bottle. Okay, so it's in the bottle, and now I'm gonna add some sour slime to it. This is what's gonna hold it together. Now we just freeze it, but we already have one made, so we don't have to wait. Let's test it out. That looks kind of gross. It's not that good. Kind of feels like I'm chewing on coconut shavings. Let's see how fast liquid nitrogen turns syrup into jelly. So freezing clear syrup is difficult to freeze. It's not as easy as freezing honey. I'm gonna be adding just clear syrup to this bottle. Now I'm gonna fill this up with LN2. Let's see how it turned out. So it took about a minute or two to all evaporate. It's more durable than honey, it didn't crack. It feels kind of solid though. I'm gonna try and see if I'm able to squeeze it out. Oh, look at that. It actually froze way better than the fridge and it only took like two minutes. Let's make some blue frozen Takis in a bottle. First, let's turn the blue Takis into blue Taki powder. The Takis look green to me, not blue. Maybe it's the lighting. Let's crush them up into Taki dust. Perfect, still looks green to me though. Okay, now all we're gonna add is sour slime. Mix it all up. Now we'll place it in a bottle and freeze it. Four hours later. This one's actually not good and it's not even spicy. Let's make an ice cream bottle jelly using a ranch bottle. I'm gonna use sugar-free frosting vanilla flavor. This frosting kind of looks like queso fresco. Now we're just gonna add a tiny bit of honey. The color kind of changed a bit, so we're gonna add a little bit of white food coloring. Okay, cool. Now I'm gonna add chocolate sprinkles. I'm gonna try and imitate the seasoning flakes. Okay, I froze this for three hours because I wasn't sure if it was gonna work. It looks nasty, but it tastes like ice cream.
Let's make a jello jelly bottle. But we'll also make honey, cotton candy, and sprinkles. Let's make the classic honey first. Now the sprinkles. Now the jello. Now the cotton candy. Add a tiny bit of syrup. We'll add a little bit of syrup to these two. Now we just freeze them. Okay, they're frozen. Anyways, I tried these three. I just never tried the jello one before. Yo, the jello one is actually pretty good. Let's start freezing some of these using liquid nitrogen. We'll use green, purple, blue, and orange. Let's put it inside a bottle. I'm gonna try and freeze them in the bottle in layers. First, let's add a tiny bit of syrup. Let's add the green layer first. Now let's add purple, orange, blue. Now let's freeze it with LN2. Let's see how it turned out. Works pretty well, but the bottom freeze is solid. Ah, I don't like root beer. I'm gonna make a monster bottle jelly. I'm gonna add some warheads, sour patch, bottle pop, sour slime, some sour ooze tube, some gummy bears, finally some warheads. The sour slime and the ooze tube will definitely turn this into a bottle jelly. Let's freeze it. Five hours later. Oh yeah, it's sour. Pretty sour, but good. Let's make a simple cold red Mountain Dew. I'm using the actual drink for this one. I'm using a quarter of the bottle. Then we just add some clear syrup. Now we just wait till it becomes a syrup. I'm gonna add food coloring though, because it doesn't look red enough. Okay, it's ready. Let's see how tall it will rise. You know you made a good bottle when it rises really high. It didn't rise very high, but it does taste like cold red. Let's see if pouring liquid nitrogen on some squeeze candy will turn into frozen jelly. Okay, so I'm gonna be testing three different types of squeeze candy. All three candies kinda act like a syrup. Let's see how fast liquid nitrogen is able to turn them into a jelly. The LN2 finally evaporated, it's been 3-4 to four minutes. Let's test them out before they start melting. Okay, let's do the Ooze 2 Blueberry first. Look how stiff it is. Let's see how the Warheads turned out. It worked, turned into jelly. And finally, this one. They froze pretty quick, took like 3 minutes. That took only one minute. Let's use more liquid nitrogen to do more instant freezing. I'm gonna be using this little barrel container and about three green sour apple ooze tubes. I'll add some to the bottom first. Now I'll add different types of sprinkles. Add some more ooze tube. Now we just seal it up. And then we're just gonna freeze it. It froze solid, so I let it sit for five minutes in order for it to work. Let's freeze some squeeze candy in a bottle using liquid nitrogen. Okay, first I'm gonna be using about three of these. I'm also gonna be using some sour slime candy. I'm gonna be putting everything in a cup first so it's easy to mix. Now let's add some sour slime. Perfect, they're even the same color. Now in a separate cup I have a tiny bit of water. To that little water I'm gonna add some jello. Now mix that up. Now we're gonna add it to the candy mixture. Mix it up again. We'll put it in the bottle and freeze. Okay, let's see how it turned out. <sighs> Since I added some water to it, it did come out a bit icy. Made a fresh batch, let's try spicy habanero. I'm gonna be using some green habanero hot sauce, some citric powder to replace lemon juice, and instead of using some corn syrup for this one, we're gonna use some sour slime candy. Let's add the sour slime first. I'm gonna be using all of it. Now I'll add the hot sauce. Now we'll add the citric sour powder. Now we'll just fill up the bottle. Now we'll just freeze it upside down for a couple hours. Five hours later. Didn't really work. I couldn't eat it, it was too spicy. Doesn't taste good either. 
I see my mom drink these all the time. Are they even good? It tastes okay. It has pulp in it. I'm gonna make a bottle jelly. I'm hoping the pulp doesn't ruin it. I really thought its color would be green. I'm gonna add some green ooze tube, sour drops, and the main ingredient, three sour slimes. I'm not gonna lie, it smells pretty nasty. It's now pretty thick, I'm gonna place it inside a bottle. I'm gonna freeze it upside down because I didn't have enough. I froze it for about six hours, I'm hoping the pulp didn't ruin it. It worked! My mom's gonna be so confused when she sees what happened to her drink. Nah, I don't like the pulp. Wrong pipe. <laughs> Let's make a monster bottle slime. I'll be using sour slime, magic potion candy, green ooze tube, warhead drops, and some blue food coloring. Now we just freeze it upside down for four hours. It's okay, it tastes like green apple, kinda sour. <laughs> 